Ida Ice Learning Center, Systems Air Handling Units, and Zone Energy Reports. Energy reports are accessed in Ida Ice by clicking on the relevant report under Detailed Results in the Results tab. Fire a double click, we are opening the system's energy report. At the top of the report, we see a summary of the energy consumption of the various HVAC components. Further down the report, we also have data about distribution losses that occur in the system. Distribution losses are defined as extra energy and losses in the general tab. When defining the system losses, the user also specifies the proportion of these losses that will be deposited in the zones. These are listed in the zone energy report as net losses. The next report we are going to be looking at is the air handling unit energy report. The report details the various energy consumption types that occur within an air handling unit. There is an energy report for every air handling unit that is included in the model. We are now going to be looking at zone energy reports. One report has been created for every zone of the model. The zone energy report only contains information about sensible heat. Information about the overall energy performance of the zone can be found in the heat balance diagram. Solar contributions from windows are combined with the window transmission losses. In this way, the user gets an understanding how the window impacts on your whole performance of the space. The total figures at the bottom of the table are then also split up into three different periods, heating, cooling and the rest of the time. The during heating or cooling times are determined on a zone-by-zone -zone basis. History of contributions from casual gains or losses within the debt band are accounted for with a time constant that can be changed in system parameters. This can, for example, be explained with solar gains that occur within a space at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If heating requirements occur at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the solar gains that were captured earlier will still have an impact on the requirements from the plant. The default definition is that casual gains or losses have an influence for up to 24 hours with the diminishing effect over time. This length can over be changed under system parameters. At the bottom of the form, we have data about envelope transmission losses dividing into walls, roof, floors, and windows. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to Help and Process Guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under Help, you will also find our Getting Started Guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under Events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.